So, we are back in the shop. Um, I've got some temporary calipers, calipers on, which are ugly, but so far they are not leaking fluid. So these ugly as calipers are better than the freshly rebuilt, refurbed ones. So good. Side. I don't know what to do with those. I fuck them. Uh, I'm just gonna run the yes. Also, one side is silver, the other side is red. Right? Cool. Nice. Anyway, um, really did the connector on the ABS sensor. I don't know where it is right now. Yeah. So we switched to the Clio connector. And uh, we are currently trying to figure out routing of the ABS sensor. And then after that, we will be praying that it works with the car. Because who knows if the teeth on the Clio ABS sensor ring are the same as the Celic or not. Probably not. I don't know. I just hope it will work. Because if not, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Anyway. Once that's done, uh, which is going to be tomorrow, probably we'll do the other side. Uh, yes, I have to rebuild these brackets because they are ugly as hell, but I think the name of the game right now is it will work for now. It may not be beautiful, but it will work for now. So once that's done, we are popping the wheels on and putting the car on the ground for the first time with the new suspension, I think. After that, rear. After that, probably teaching the car the new center position on the steering. Um, I put a clip in here that I filmed with my phone because I didn't have a camera that explains how we got center position on the steering again. This clip will come right here. I know. That's your solution. This is a spline shaft and you can, well, you can take it off and rotate it and put it back on and it will be fine, I hope. We'll see. And yes, so that's how we did it. If we can teach the center position again, I hope we can, then that's fine. We we'll need to remove some of those wires that were put in by something who's not me, someone who's not me, someone who's not me um, in the past. So we'll get rid of those. We will not put the car completely back together in case something else happens. But mechanically, it's done. Apart from the ABS sensors, fronts are not leaking right now, so functional but ugly, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to over complicate it or over explain it. That's it. I'll come back to you tomorrow. Deal? That was booze, I... Look. <laughs> Perfect. I'm kind of excited because today might... I'm gonna fry in the hole. <laughs> uh, so... I'm kind of excited because today might be the first day we see the front end on the ground. So, wish me luck. Ah, I'm finally the earlier one. Rolly is not here yet. So, ABS sensor to connect on this side, brackets to put on both sides for the ABS sensor, those. And that's basically it. And then we can put the wheels on with the temporary calipers. These are actually bleeded already. Bled, I guess. Bled. Bled. English. Anyway, I'm gonna clean those up. Roy is going to do the other side ABS sensor. And we can put it on the ground. Finally, 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 finally. Good. So um, I don't know if you can 
can see behind me. Look, the front end is on the ground. <laughs> it's so good. Mismatch wheels, cool, Japanese style. Rear is still stuck 4x100. This is 5x108 RS. Temporary calipers, but don't mind it. And, oh, bro. So good. It looks so good. Right hat is um, <clears throat> a bit low. I shall say. I, I, I didn't expect it to be that low, but I hope everything clears because it is really low. And uh, yeah, by the way, I, I, yeah, I tried. I can't show you guys <laughs> that it's stiff as shit. So good. Top mounts are adjusted to fully negative, and that's why fitment is a bit weak. But it's not terrible. Like you probably have like two, two point five degrees of camber up front with this, and I would need, I guess, 10, 16 mil uh, spacers. But I, I have my concerns. There's this tab right here, which you probably cannot see. Ah, yeah, definitely cannot see. Anyway, that's this tab that's holding the bumper, and. Uh, I don't know if we will be able to clear that. We'll see, I guess, but... Oh, so good, so good. Look at that. I'm trying to park a between the parts here, but... Oh, look at that. Those things look huge on it. I don't know why. They're not that huge. Might need to downsize a bit. Ah. Probably not. But I think it would look better on 17s, like the rear. Maybe some Clio wheels, like maybe like those. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, tomorrow we are going to put the front ABS sensors on because I am still painting the brackets. I'm still painting the brackets. They are drying up nicely. So. Tomorrow, front ABS sensors on with the brackets, um, and after that, I guess we can start on the rear end, uh, which is. Uh, I'm really hoping I can get this car rolling this week, maybe, but I seriously doubt it. Anyway, uh, if we can, we will. At this point, I'm not really concerned about time, so. I, I keep looking at it, I keep looking at it, and I keep loving it. whole car is just a vibe. It's half rough, half cool. Everything is half rough, half cool. So, fender, rough, right? Wheels, cool, but kind of rough. Calipers, rough. Engine, cool. Headlights, left side one is rough, right side one is cool because it's freshly polished. It really is a Frankenstein's monster. Because Frankenstein was the professor or whatever scientist he did the monster, get it right, which is right? Facts. Oh man. Okay, so I stop babbling about. We'll get back to you. We'll I will. I'll get back to you very soon, which is probably tomorrow for me, and like in five seconds for you. See you then. drove the car a little bit yesterday, just around the block, or not even around the block, you know, like 25 feet, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all in all, important part is, uh, it was awesome, it just, all the front end is done, and even that's, that's like a hundred thousand percent, but it already felt absolutely fucking fantastic, and uh, I'm gonna have to leave it out, but that's what I think. Um, Steering 
I think the biggest improvement I feel, I was just doing 15 kilometers an hour, so the biggest feel or improvement was probably steering, which is surprising, and uh, definitely the stiffness. No alignment or whatsoever, rear end wasn't even done, half of the interior world was disassembled, doesn't matter. So I actually realized Rolly is right in front of me, like in front of that thing right there. There he is with the RS. Right though, this is what we got done. Cup dampers are in, cook sport springs are in, brand new hardware with all that, like rubber mounts and stuff like that. 5 by 108 discs, discs, it's so hard to say. 5 by 108 discs are on. Um, so far they are straight fit. Rear calipers, we realized we would need a bit of love. They work fine, but uh, they are on the cards next. Whole rear beam is on the cards next. What we will need to do during the winter, new brake lines. Uh, and that's why we won't fit the rear braided brake lines today or this time because we want to do all new brake lines on the rear I actually want to take the rear beam out poly bush it uh, clean it paint it new calipers or refurb or something like that all that stuff otherwise we're pretty good actually um, all that's left for the rear is to Wind the calipers back because they are the turny one. You know, you have to push and turn them at the same time to make it work. And uh, after that, I think put the pads in, refit the calipers, put it on the ground. What you haven't done yet is tighten the rear upper shock bolts because I think. They would need to be tightened uh, under load. That's what I think. Yo, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I think tomorrow we will see the car on the ground with the rear as well and possibly take it for a ride. I think we will need to set the steering center position on the computer, see if the ABS sensors are at all confused. Hopefully the tooth comes in the front, is the same as the back, I don't know, we'll see. I did do a couple rounds with it yesterday, with the stock rear suspension, and uh, fat amazing. I have a comparison photo of the rear springs, up here. That's the difference between them. As you can see the cook sport springs have a much... Uh, Rarer, I think. So the the, diff, uh, the distances between the coils on the top are more than the FK lowering springs or whatever they were, and the distances in the lower portion are a lot stiffer. Like so, like I I'm thinking it means. Don't quote me on this, but I'm thinking it means that the car will sit lower, and once it's set lower. Uh, springs will be much stiffer. So, hopefully that's the case. Front sure seems to be that way. So, oh, man. looks so good. I really like it. I wasn't sure if I would like these wheels on the car as well. I like them off the car. Look great off the car. But I wasn't sure I would like them on the car. Because you know, wheels tend to have that where they look different on car and off car, but they look great on the car. They look great. Fitment is a bit whack, but that's because we have maxed the camber top mounts out. Because I'm gonna run it on track, so you probably won't be able to tell, but I have, I think, about 2.5%. 2.5 degrees of camber up front. So, if they were set to zero, which I think is about zero camber, uh, 
there are actually, these signed ones were set to zero. No, the other side ones, never mind. Once they were at zero, so this end, they were basically flush with the wheel uh, fenders, but with this camber, they're a little bit in. Not terrible, not terrible. Curious to see how the rear wheel end turn out because I think rear fitment will need spacers. But we'll see. We've got those wheels, we'll slap them on and see if they need spacers. If they do, I get some spacers. I even have some 20 wheel ones to fit in case. Just in case, you know. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll come back to you tomorrow when we'll hopefully drive this car properly for the first time ever. Right? See you then. Okay, so, uh, it's Friday and the rear is on the ground. Now, I noticed two things. One, right height, it's great. It's spot on, exactly the same as the front. I like it. Second thing, <laughs> rear fitment is Absolutely fuck terrible. What the hell is even that, bro? So I'm heading home right now to grab a pair of turning wheel spacers and I'm going to put them on the rear if I can because I we also noticed one simple thing. Um, now mind you, original Cynic bolts were M12. RS bolts are M14. I got Scenic rear discs, just 5 by 108 they turned out to be M12, so I currently have different bolts, front and rear. It is what it is, I'll try to fix it. Best thing would be if we could fit a 2 to 5 phase 1 rear disc, which didn't occur to me, I don't know why, but that would be the ideal solution, hopefully it's taller. So. Fitness better on the rear. Um, the beam should be the same size as, and actually, probably should be the same as a Megan 225 on these. So, yeah. I'm happy about the right height though. It's pretty damn good. It's probably going to stabilize it. But, yeah. Right height is good. It's, it's great. Front fitment could use a bit of spacer as well, but. Look at this, it's quite close and I don't know if that would work with spacers. It does work as it is right now, we tested that. Not sure if it would work with spacers or a lower ET or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm heading home, grabbing a pair of spacers, coming back, fitting them on the car, hopefully, and coming back to you. Shop. Um, this is it. This is how the car will sit. I for all think it looks pretty good. It's also um, a bit low, but I don't mind. This is pretty much eye level for me. So yeah, it's it's low, but it's good. So uh, I haven't really driven it yet. Properly. I've driven it around on the block. We don't have a front suspension done, but I've told you guys already that. Anyway, um, whole, fingers crossed. Today is a Monday, which is, I think, 31st of October. Tomorrow is November the 1st. It's a holiday, so I'm not going to be here working. But the day after tomorrow, hopefully, we can get it all done. Um, I'll show you what's left to do. Not much really. It's just to uh, get rid of all those wires, um, put it all back together, and drive it. Yeah. So, in two days, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to drive it properly. Uh, we'll be able to set the steering center uh, on the computer. And after that, who knows? Oh, yeah, after that, we need to figure out. The situation with the front calipers. Otherwise, 
It's done. Looks really damn good too. It's got some proper right height. Oh, man. Just pop the bumper back on. It's not even secured at all. Uh, we don't even have the front arch liners, the front half of the arch liners in. Small stuff like that to do, probably gonna take quite a bit of time. As you can see, part of the dash is out here and there. That's a different car. But yeah, um, trying not to fall over here, but this is it. This is where this video will end, and uh, next video, I'm definitely going to be driving this car. I hope. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, once again, as usual, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because I did really enjoy it. So, yeah. Thank you very much again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.